everyone, thanks for joining us this week. My name is Nina and this is my assistant Flounder. And today we're going to learn how to train your cat to paint. Um, so all you're gonna need is a canvas. Uh, you'll need uh, paint that is non-toxic um, and is able to wash off easily. I, I like acrylic paint. Um, and then a cat who is already trained to give high fives. So please refer back to our video about uh, training your cat to give high fives. So I like to use canvases that are flat um, so that they don't, they can't like puncture it or push through it. Uh, so I use these flat board canvases um, and they're, they're pretty cheap. Flounder actually sells her paintings, which is why I trained her to paint. Um, but it's actually a lot of fun for them and can be really good mental stimulation. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to train them to paint, but I'm gonna show you without the actual paints just because it can get really messy. Keep this in mind when you're painting with them because, stay here Flounder, um, because you're gonna want an outfit to wear uh, when you're facilitating the painting that is a specific paint outfit that can get destroyed because you're gonna get paint all over you no matter how great of an artist your cat is. Um, so to get started, I just gave her the, I, I presented her with the canvas and I had her give it a high five. So Flounder, high five. Good girl. So once they start to high five the canvas, um, then you can start, like if you can get their them to hold their paw there, you can start to pull the canvas up or down or over or however you want to make, make it so they're painting. Flounder actually, she's been doing this long enough now that she actually starts to move her paw around when there's paint and she'll watch it. She likes to watch the paint um, and see what she's making, which is pretty cool. So Flounder, high five. High five your canvas. You did it, high five. Good girl. Good job. Uh, you also wanna make sure that when they're done with a color, you rinse their paw really well or they're gonna lick it off. Um, and you don't want, even with the non-toxic paint, it's probably better to not lick it off of their paw. Um, high five. Can you do a high five? Flutter high five. Can you high five your painting? Come over here, sit down. Sit down. Sit. Good girl, high five. Can you high five? Right here. Good girl. The other thing you should note when you're painting with your cat is that um, you should do it in a place that's easy to clean because just like you're seeing here, she gets distracted pretty easily and she'll walk around. So you'll have little paint cat paws all over wherever you're doing this. We started to um, to paint outside and in the driveway is the only place really that um, we could paint without getting, without getting um, dirt on her paw because I didn't want to get the painting dirty. So I put a lot of cardboard boxes down in the driveway. The problem we had was that we have a lot of foot traffic around our driveway, so people would stop and they'd wanna to talk to the painting cat. And that was really, really distracting for Flounder, especially because she's not the best with people. Um, so we had to move it inside. Now we do it in the bathroom. And the bathroom is better. Uh, it's a lot easier to clean. You obviously don't want carpet to be involved, um, but there are little paw prints all over the bathroom. It's our accessory. <laughs> um, so just keep that in mind too, that you definitely want some sort of art studio that's easy to clean. Um, but uh, once the paintings are finished, they look kind of like this, um, our little Picasso. And then we, we, we do sell her paintings and they, they do sell. A lot of people buy them, so they're pretty cute. Uh, it's really, really great for mental stimulation. Um, and it's a lot of fun, so make sure you're always having fun with it. Uh, it does take some time. It's not something that they're gonna get right away. They're, they have to get used to the paint being on their paw, and they also have to get used to um, touching the canvas. And once they start to see that the, the paint transfers onto the canvas and 
does whatever they want to do with it they'll start to have more fun with it but stay patient with it because it did take some time for flounder um, at first she was just kind of high-fiving the canvas like barely touching it um, and that wasn't giving us very great results for the paintings but you have to just keep in mind that at, at the beginning it's not about the quality of the painting it's about training your cat and making them comfortable with painting and making it fun um, so make sure you have fun with it um, always end on a positive note if they're not getting it give them something else to do uh, just to end on a high note and uh, let us know in this video if this helped you guys um, make sure you hit subscribe to see future training videos and we will see you next week